Attention screw believers! Are you ready to get across the start line and launch your dream business? Then you don't want to miss the second half of my live talk on YouTube and Facebook. I reveal the last two runners of the Entrepreneur Olympics. What's the Entrepreneur Olympics, you ask? Good question! This story will help you discover secrets, strategies, and stories that will motivate you to take action and achieve your goals. But hurry, March 12th is right around the corner. This live talk is happening March 12th, and you won't want to miss it. Go to the show notes now and click on Start Line Part 1 to catch up on the first half of the talk. And then join me on YouTube and Facebook for the thrilling conclusion. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. This is DJ Scoob, signing off. See you at the start line. <laughs>to the Undiscovered Entrepreneur, the podcast where brand new entrepreneurs come to life and could quite possibly be discovered. Join me, DJ Scoob, and the rest of the Scoob Believers as we help these new businesses become a reality. And now, away we go! we now join DJ Scoob in the coaching of Matt Dillingham, already in progress. I want to talk a little bit. First of all, I want to know exactly what you do and what your entrepreneur adventure is, how long, you know, all the good, all the good stuff there. My backstory, my origin story. So, yes. um, me, what I do, um, we're having the last six years full time has been cry out there. Very, you know, very exciting. Cry out there. Okay, great. We're done. And the meeting. That's it. Like yeah, since like 2015, 2014, and then also I got I got into it because when I would talk with a um, client and doing the credit analysis, my whole spirit being whatever was like there there's more needs to be done here than you're just telling them about credit how it works and do this stuff with this because what happens is a lot of people they, they get the credit fixed and unless they maintain it, um they just let it go. Because they got the house or whatever it is that they're, whatever it is that they want. And then it's like, well, I really want you to maintain it because you have resistance to it. And also because subconsciously and consciously you have reasons to why you don't think you deserve it. And it's like, oh man, no people, just, they don't pay attention. So it's really about, for me, addressing that with, with the, with the client and say, let's go on a journey to shift your conscious identity to see what else is going on this way. You can not just, you know, how to create one, but also create, create a life that you love. And go from there, and not just I could go and understand. Right. Don't mind your business, but I want to keep you going longer. You know. So. So yeah. Uh, right. And then all all of what we provide into company is we also with business owners also we broker um, business loans. I have a uh, MC data that we examine and need to. Really holding on, like, all right, if I do this text message blast, what am I going to say to get some yeses versus all no's? But I know what the on the loans is like. All right, it was like, well, your tally's um, hired MCA loans. I get it. Um, but you're not going to get anything better unless you do two things. One, fix your personal credit. Two, get some business credit built. Then we can get you to some term loan lines of credit and all that stuff. So, yeah. Okay. So basically what you do is you help people repair their credit. Then you kind of keep tabs on it and make sure that they keep the credit up and not just let it fall off after they've accomplished what their goal is. Yeah. And then yeah, and that that's what of- I'm looking at. Um, yeah. I'm looking to do that more long-term. I don't know how to take a burden for that. Call it, call it your night reset. But right now it's, I'm getting some, get, I've gotten some coaching clients right now. It's still most just a credit one. Nothing wrong with that. Boy, really, I, I, I do enjoy coaching because when I'm finished, I'm not like tired I'm like, oh, I want to do more. And it's like, we should go to sleep. Okay, but let's do more. It's like, right. <laughs> great. Yeah, like, let's do more. It's like, stop. We have to relax now. Okay, cool. You know? Yeah, uh, but then after, after, after all that, you're still thinking about it. You're lying in bed, eyes awake. You know, like. Well, who asked me? Um, 
man, you, how come you brought this up? I want you to recuss. I gave this, I, this morning, what happened? And then another, it's like, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make a break? I'm like, man, I could do more coaching. It's like, it's a good thing, but you know. So, yeah. How's, um, that, how's that song go? A million dreams are keeping me awake, right? I've never heard it, but that's true. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Ever since then, you're like, and you go to sleep now. It's 2 a.m. I went to the bathroom. Why am I thinking about doing this right now? <laughs> it's why <fine. laughs> People go, go, oh, I'm alive. <laughs> okay. So tell me what's in your mind, Matt. I mean, okay, we we got what our business is, and, and we know it's in our zone yeah. of genius because we we can't stop thinking about it, and we, we it keeps our energy up. We always want to keep doing it, even though, you know, like you say, it's 2 a.m. and you're still thinking about it. So you know it's in that in that right zone or area because you're always in that zone thinking about it. So you know you're in the right yeah. place. So tell me what's on your mind at this point. What are we, what are we trying to accomplish uh, at this point? What's on your mind? Um, that's a question. I would like to get more, because I asked some about, about, about the person LSC for my life coaching business. That was titled Infant Power Coaching. So right now with the coaching credit, it can go hand in hand. I can have a couple of clients here and have to build it up to transfer to transition to more doing that. But I want to ask you, I'm also certified to teach products literacy. So there's a part of it's like, don't let this go completely. Be attached to it, however it's going to be, because I'm going to meet people when you have credit or, we you know, I have no virtual product to lose support for, for kids. Each send up is virtual. So that's so we factor in the like, but right now it's, you need to go on the coaching. Like universe, God, whatever's like, this is the path. Don't drop this. You never know. So, um, but I like to have ideally for both, Clients really can't yield the credit, but they also want to want that one on person coaching. I also want to um, put together like a, a group coaching program, which would be, you know, everyone pays like hundred bucks a month, me twice a month. I already know what like to do. I wrote that. Really on, on that aspect, it's like, how do I narrow it down to who I'm speaking to you on that versus, all right, bad credit sucks. Let me fix it. Like that's the feeder. And then tying into kind of says, what there's more to this than what you may, may be aware of, right? The likely aspect, that's, that's different. You can talk about what the person issue, but why do you help with that? They'll reach out to you, right? Credit side, it's like people are at just a credit piece and that's fine. But I already, I already have some clients of ours that we help with the credit and they're like, I, I sent them um, like a brief overview of like this credit coaching program that I have, have running right now. And they're like, yeah, I want in. It's like, I saw, I talk, I talk about all the other things about conscious prep motions are like, I want it. So there is a market for it. If people want it. It's a matter of communicating that to those who want it. And saying like, you know, that's where I kind of need clarity on that. Right. Okay. Okay. What else? What else? Uh and then I guess also as well, this leads to the coaching side. It's like, you know, um, I like to get people in the more, um, the one on one, but I'm charging a lot more, uh, 3000 to work, for, work together for three months on the coachings. One on one meet like once a week, I can do, you know, a couple of those, um, maybe like once, maybe, maybe like one or two, two of those, like a month, something like that, maybe nice three or more. And then, um, just kind of like, you know, I have to get more people in to what I do. And cause I got advised one time, well, if you're doing the coaching, the credit coaching and the coaching. And cause my thing was, all right, let me promote the credit piece on Facebook and then do one on like YouTube, keep it separate and simple. But I was like, what are you kind of both? What just put it all on one umbrella? I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Makes, it, it, for a second, I was like, okay, I mix these two to create content. But then I'm like, how I go back and forth from one aid's a credit tip, then it's like life coaching, credit tip, life coaching, you know what I mean? Where a way that it can just flow. That song goes, okay, that makes sense. That speaks to me. I hear what he's saying. I want to, I want to learn more about it. Okay. Okay. So you want to learn more about life coaching, how to integrate that into what you're doing. Okay. What, what else? Is there anything else? And what else? I mean, really? Look at my Dug and Donuts. I want those three. Okay, what else? Uh, the other two. Okay, what else? I'm like, damn it, all of them was three. No, it's your Dunkin'. You're going for it. Come on. Then I'm like, all right, fire. What a store. What else? Well, like, what do you mean, what else? <laughs> well, the thing is, 
I want to be able to serve you as much as possible in the time that I've allotted you. So the only reason why I keep asking you what else, because I'm trying to get all the stories out so I can, and I'm writing them all yeah. down so we can hit each one of them and see what we can get out most out of every yeah. single subject. Yeah. So it's really important to, for me to hear everything that you have on your mind and use as much time as I can possible to hit every one of those. So that's the only that's reason why I keep saying, I know I keep asking, you, I know it's probably annoying. And I love no, donuts, I, so, you know. When I'm a coach, too. You want to know deeper, deeper, deeper. You go, oh, this is going on for you. It's like, okay, it makes sense. Because you can't see our own black spots. You can't search our own But you can help me. You know what I mean? So, um, okay. I guess, like, I guess, I don't know. The last one would be, like, what could I do? My next text message blasting these leads to be, like, someone says, yes, I want to find it for you. You're not annoying me. And then I can get paid off of that, too, as well. But. Unrelated, and if, if not, we can't do it. Can't do it right now. It's fine. I don't like to worry about it so much. But really, for me, it's the coaching aspect of like getting that down to clarity and like a flow. So, yeah. All right. Anything else? No. Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm going to give you the obvious one first to me. That that's right out of the bat obvious for me. Okay. No, when you are talking about your credit business and that kind of thing, your light, your eyes were lit up, your hands were moving. You're really talking about because you're it's you were really engaged. But as soon as you actually started talking about the coaching thing, you backed off. Mm -hmm. You you, mm -hmm. you kind of got a little quieter, you kind of kind of huddled a little bit, your hands dropped down, you know. So to yeah. me, that says I, I'm very, I'm very like passionate about the credit business that's doing, but there's something holding me back from the from the coaching part. Yeah. So, and that's just through body language and your and your voice tones. So, can you can you maybe think back and just kind of why are we holding back from the coaching a little bit? Mm. I think there's a part of me, there's part of me that where it's like, I, cause I can go on about unconsciously and all that stuff, go all out. I get that is like my sh. And then it's like, well, if I do that, I might be confusing people and who look at my phone to you. So then it's like a little coaching. So it's like the other accent is what's the gateway to, to the, to the other stuff that people like don't realize that they need. And so that's where from your presence, like, yes, but it's like, I want to talk about this, but like, how do I just, do I just say, you know, screw it. Let me do, all right, today's, today's Monday mini credit chest, blah, blah, blah. Then Tuesday is all about how this affects this and everything else, right? Mm -hmm. And just go all out with it. And if that's the case, great. But how do I do it in a way that's smart, strategic, smart and strategic? And not just like throwing chickens all over. Oh, I did all this today and I got nothing. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah. So. When it comes to something like that, because I see you two do, two, doing two things. So when I see you doing two things, I like finding ways to merge them together to one final product. Yes. Right? That sounds like that's what you'd yeah. like to do. So if yeah. you're going to do something like that, you actually have to have a customer uh, journey. You have to have a customer roadmap, something that takes the customer down a specific map road. If this happens, then this happens. If this happens, then this happens. If they go here, then we have to have them go there. For example, I'll, I'll give you what comes across my mind first. You have a credit customer, but you feel that you, you might be able to coach him in something because you could tell he has problems. Then say, hey, you know, I have this product. Would you like to talk about this product another time? Keep it separate. Right. So that way we're not confusing ourselves between the credit and the life coaching. So we got to find a way to interweave that, but at the same time, keep it separate so we don't confuse not just the customer, but don't confuse ourselves too. Right. Right. So like I could see how you would have a life coach kind of worked into the credit because people want to build their credit for a good life. Right. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Yes. Yeah, the dog. She's like, I'm sorry. I well, anyways, it's all right. I love dogs. They call me DJ Scoob. I like it. I still, but yeah, that's Charlie. She's uh, no, she's she happy. Okay, great. Puppy. I was like, 
scratch at the door. Right, anyways. Anyway, so how do we how do we make a roadmap for a guest when we first have them come into the coaching? What are yeah. some some like light bulbs that will go off in your head when you can say, hey, hey, you know, they're in here in my crediting and so they're saying something specific that might be good for life, co life coaching. What are a couple of flags yeah. for life coaching? I mean, what do you think? Okay. So, so today, funny enough, or well, yesterday, I sent this out. Um, I had a lady reach out to me. She was a loan officer. I met her black late last year. I spoke with her team and I talked her about the friend and the life coaching. I did a little process with her. And she hit me up yesterday to what was signed on his credit and coaching as well. Because she was like, he needs help with that. But she's kind of just seen all her plays. He's insecure, other things like that. I'm trying to remember what she said exactly. But she recognized me where I like, this all the areas of my life. I'm trying to get things together. I, I feel, I feel, I'm just trying to, I don't know where to go. I need guidance to work on this. And two, and three, and four, and five, right? So that's... Something that that's the mom or mother being a mother, I guess. This is where I get the research in. Some the cues, the things that were here would be. I can happen to tell when someone needs more help when maybe the best people work because I was gonna chase them when they know they know they need to pray worked on and it seems like light is just pouring them in every direction and they're not saying no. Put down. This is our first. This can wait. I'm gonna do this. It's like they're not. They're not. We got the clinic rule enough saying I need help. I need direction. Can you help me just get centered and go? All right. What are we looking? At? We're in. Where do we want to go? That's one people. What else is? What else is going on? Okay. So so I guess they feel like they feel like I, they proceed to lead that their life scatter. They want some guy that's just going a straight line to where they want to be. Okay. So what are, but I mean, I, I get that, but what are actually some of the cues that go through your head that, that makes you realize that this person could be a good, or, you know, I mean, some specific, I'm, I want you to get a little more specific with me about cues. Okay. The I mean, I've never yeah, you you'll get the feeling. You get that, you know, you get that fuzzy feeling in your heart, like, yeah, I could help this person. But you're not gonna yeah. be able to help this person until they accept it or they ask for help. Right. Right. Cheers. <laughs> Getting ending at the moment. <laughs> okay. A few lines of it. This is I talk with so many people on this before and done the analysis and they think about things in their life that they'll ask for. So, so maybe maybe this is something I'm I'm not gonna, you know, make you pound your head on the wall right now, but <laughs> yeah. but maybe this is something that you can actually work on, you know, yeah. right? I mean, sit down with yourself, write them down, put them somewhere where it's easy to find so you can refer to them, whether it be like uh in your phone or you know, you do what I do. I use these things. Have you seen these before? Post-it notes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. notes. Yeah. These are a lifesaver for me. I kick five, put my uh, alarm on my phone for five minutes and just start posting words all over the wall. And then when the five minutes are up, I reorganize. That's why I like them sticky. And I could take them off and reorganize them into sections. And those sections turn into subjects that I talk about on my podcast. They're like keywords I could do in my podcast. So what you can do for you is you can do the same thing, but your words that you're plastering down are, are your cues. Okay, when I hear this, okay, when I hear this word, when I, right. what, something like that, and then after you, their five minutes are up, start sectioning me out. I said, now these are the flags. These are the things I'm looking for in my, in my credit customers that could possibly be life coach customers. Yeah. You see what I'm saying right. here? Yeah. That makes sense. Almost like a, what's like a brain dump of this, just go five minutes and go, okay, I see what's there. Oh, the there we go. And the rest will be tossed out basically. Yeah. Well, I mean, our section. I mean, if you if need be, but I do, I get what you're saying. I, I'm thinking <laughs> of what you're putting down. Okay. Folks. Cause you know, sometimes they drop stuff. So, they yeah, pick it. Pick, pick. We were to put it down there. Dr. Scoob, DJ Scoob, I'm sorry. 
Oh, he's just like, wow. Okay, I see why now. I get it. You're right. <laughs> You're going to get that every once in a while. Okay. So, um, when are you, when do you think you were most in your flow though? Cause it sounds like, I mean, you're, you, you get into your flow when you're in your credit. I mean, what else gets you in that flow? What else gets you in that, in that warm, fuzzy place besides talking about credit? Um, a warm, fuzzy place. Well, I'm actually one o'clock. I didn't even know. I forgot. Um, When I'm talking to one of my actual active coaching, actually, when I've talked to one, like, actually, with my, um, actually coaching, not credit, like, getting full of, like, you know, talking about the beliefs and the emotions and what this means and that means. And, like, actually talking about, like, all the unconscious beliefs and stuff that I've picked up over the years. I really get into that. And, um, the last session, and I have a client tomorrow. He's cool. He's, he's, he's almost like a mirror engine of me when I was younger. I was like, I wish I had a coach when I was your age. Like he's got stuff, he's done security, he's trying to get you stuff and call him, well, do you do all kinds of breathing and emotions, do this with women, blah, 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 all this stuff. Like, and I was like, wow, I'm talking to myself. It's like, you're basically me. You have a different end goal. You want to be in, you know, like an actor, not my thing, but I get where you're going. You want that thing? You trouble, how, you know, have, having a job? I've been there. It sucks. So find what you like, well, work it towards what you want and go for it. Like, that's where I get my flow of stuff. And I understand it and I can, you know, answer their quite edges questions and talk about more about, you know, energy at all. So again, the outcome stuff, like when I'm there, even here, or even when I'm imagining like having a, um, uh, coaching session, it's like, I get into it. I'm like, I need, I need to talk more about it with people and share it. It's been like, who am I actually talking to has been like my biggest thing, right? And once I feel like I'm bad, I can just go and fly to visit and, and then having it, and I can also put together like a my own um, a lead magnet and do it that way too. Get leads finally. So, but yeah, much better, much yeah. much better than what I saw about fifteen minutes ago. Yeah, because after me trying to be, I wasn't sure of like well, how to, that for just like there, how do we merge, bridge the gap, whatever you know. What I mean? Yeah, fuse. So yeah, go. but I get, I'm like hi, and I'm done. But, I've done reels on it and people like it. Like I, I talked about one time, like the real secret, to, the real secret to credit repair. And, um, uh, I said like, you know, the real secret is, is it's your resistance to, to change your unconscious mind. Cause some part does, does not want to have a credit. And I've been there. It sucks. So you're fighting. You have to shift that. Once you do that, boom, then you can work on credit. Then you can find this change. And I go into like why finds it so hard for people to change because you, have all kinds of beliefs to why you don't want it, and you have to do some work on that versus just changing habits. Like, no, you need to go in that, and then you can do the change necessary. And then it's, you know what I mean? It's basically that's what I'm saying. And that's where I've originally in, in, I've done it in a couple of reels. So it's so, like there's parts where you want to go off on both, and it's like, we'll stop, we'll stop. What are we doing? So instead of going stop, 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 right? Let's go. Yeah. Cross, 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 cross. How do, how do we? Yes. How do yeah. we take those things that we know already and combine? Like I said in the begin, in the beginning, combine those things to make one solid voice. That's would help out so much. I can okay. go all the so time. yes. So I have a couple ideas for you. I want to explore. Okay. Yes. How do we take our knowledge of credit? And, and use that in life coaching. Let, let's see the, 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 what similarities we have in credit repair and life coaching. Okay. So if you were to talk to somebody about, about credit repair, but put it in the context of life coaching, what would that look like? What would that look like? That would be, okay, it would be looking at, and this goes into, like, we'll ask some questions on, like, what, well, this is, I'm going to make it general to more sort of, like, what was your upbringing like as a child? Two, what are your, what are you, what are your best you can in this moment? What are your beliefs or the things that you feel about money? How do you feel about yourself as a person? 
what are some things you've been trying to get you haven't able to? Okay, this all comes down to what's going on the inside here. Now, your credit is simply a reflection of what you have going on on the inside. And the thing is, you can change your credit. You can't, people do. But if you don't address the person, you just say, hey, I'm not worthy. I feel like I'm a bad boy. I was abused or whatever. You won't maintain the credit because you're not supposed to have it. Everything on the inside has to match what's on the outside. It's a rule of life or nature. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Oh my God, I love you. Thank you. I'm done. Click. <laughs> that was great. You're like, all right, so sip a coffee. Go to bed. Young boy. <laughs> Don't stay up too late, Matt. All right. So, yeah, I won't. <laughs> right. Okay. So, what are some of the emotions that are similar between your co- your uh, uh, your credit clients and your coaching clients that you've had? What are similar emotions that they've had? Um, frustration, getting angry, definitely. Um, insecurities and feeling sad about themselves and feeling like the belief of I'm here, I should be here. This means I'm like stupid, dumb, and I'm a failure. It's okay. I don't like this, this age, da da da. And I'm like, hold on with the judgment. You're here now, you're trying to get to there. We're doing this, that we're doing this, you're doing this now for your benefit that when you get there, you will stay there, not just self sabotage or pay the price. Basically. There you go. Now, same question as the first question. How do we take the, our credit knowledge and what we do with the credit knowledge with, with that particular, those particular emotions and turn it into life mm-hmm. coaching? Right. Don't necessarily have to answer me, but it's definitely a food for thought. Yeah. Right. Because these are the things yeah. that the people that are coming to you for credit repair are going to be emotionally attached to. In their yeah. mind, they're going to be imposter syndrome that's the first thing that comes into my mind when i think about uh somebody with bad credit who doesn't deserve think they deserve good credit it's because they don't think they deserve good credit so they self-sabotage themselves so they stay in their little hole on the side no matter what they do no matter how hard they try they keep self-sabotaging themselves to stay in the 500s 400s right you know if you You know i'm sick of it below the servers are like no we're supposed to be here and it's easier. I remember that's, that coming out. I was like, oh, crap. I'm already now. Yeah. Because so, that's where they're comfortable. That's what they know. And they're afraid to, yeah. okay, if I, and it sounds kind of weird, but if I get a good 600 or 700 score, I mean, where do I go from there? Can I maintain it? Oh, my God. Well, so that, that, that's the fear of, like, I'm going to screw it up. <laughs> and what happens when you start thinking you're going to screw it up? You end up screwing it up. Exactly. You know Exactly. Okay. So how do we help these people that have that problem? Right. We help them with coaching. We help them with life coaching. We help them with knowledge. We help them with the capability to know that they do deserve good credit and they do have the capability of not self-sabotaging themselves. Right. Yeah. And oh, be I know what. Right. I know the other one that we put this to. It, it's really getting clear on what it is you really want. You want good credit, but it's deeper than that. It's the emotion, but also what else is that going to do for you as far as who you are? Like how you're going to feel about it. Tell like, me more about that. Loving. Tell me more about that. Okay. So it's like you want credit and people want to credit for the house, but it's not just that, like you want more than just good credit and the house. Being in that house, it's going to add more value to your life in terms of who you are, your identity, and what is it you really want in a life. Because we all think we want things, but unconsciously, unconsciously, we want the experience and the feeling associated with that experience. That's what we're really going for. And so, yes, yeah, so okay, but like really, what's your life going to look like ideally? What's life that you, that you, that you, want to live that that you love what would that look like to you what's going to feel like be like are you around put credit but yeah be in credit like what are you doing with your credit and when you as you're doing like are you feeling sovereign independent powerful knowing that you can provide for your family yourself whatever 
That's what you really want. It's not the score. We need it. It's that I know I got it on this. Let's go for it. And how many people, how many people you think actually know that? Not many, but it's an unaware, it's, it's an awareness that we come and talk about and say, this is what you really done. Make them to go, oh, that's what you're going for. The end result, like clarity. So cool. So, oh, yeah, so, bit. <laughs> so what I want you to do is I'm going to, I'm, I'm not ending this. I just want to, I'm just telling you. Yeah. When we're done. I'm going to send this recording to you and I want you to listen to that again. But okay. exactly what you told me in the last four or five minutes, I want you to listen to that again. Because that's going to be the basics of what your coaching is going to be like. Yeah. Okay. So what did they truly actually desire? That's what you need to know from your customer. Right. Because it's really hard to see the label from inside the bottle. Right. Yeah. So people need our help to see what is in the bottle. By looking at the label from the outside, right? We don't, we can't right. see the ingredients. We can't see the ounces or anything like that. We, it's up to somebody from the outside to look in at the label to help them know what's inside. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Makes perfect sense. Okay, good. All right. So. Tell me a little bit more about the group coaching idea that you said a little bit about group coaching. How, tell me a little more about that. Um, yeah. And so what I've saw so far and I have I know make time tomorrow. Um, and if not there is like two actually sit down and write it. What I have in my mind so far is like, it'll be a private Facebook group. Um, uh, and meet live twice a month and you're paying like a hundred bucks, you know, low ticket and have group coaching, go live. Talk about and talk about different things each time. I have a whole bunch of permission get chat GTP lessons, things like that. And I also have like one, maybe you like first the first of the month is the lesson, the second, the second top of it is like is Q and A. What's going on? And then say, hey, if you want to, if you want further coaching, um, let's go do more. And I have special pricing for them because they're already being client, you know, to meet with them one on one to deal with something more personal. Um Ideally, in that group, I would love that people get comfortable with each other and say, hey, I'll say at the beginning, this is, I hate saying this, this is a safe space. It's, it's, it, I would encourage you all to come up and talk about we gotta go first because you'll find that you're not the only one. There's other people going through stuff that don't say anything for your judgment and we're not here. So when someone calls me in the hot seat, a Saturday issue, boom, is that, is that valuable to that valuable, everybody? Great. I'll see y'all next time. Deuces. And also, in all part of the group, I will also have all the people come in um, who are good in other areas of finance, like life insurance, estate planning, um, to have, you know, have them come in like maybe once every other month and speak and say, hey, if you help with this, here's so-and-so. Because, um, like, I can't cover everything financially. I want to give that shit to people, you know, and it's far and So, yeah. Okay. That's good. That's good. Um, here's my thought. You're, you're, and yes. I'm, I'm going to say things probably most people won't say. So I'm, I'm just going to be upfront with you. Cause that's the kind of guy I am. Okay. You're building your, building right? Both, right? <laughs> you're building your community backwards. I am. You're building your community backwards. Okay. The, the reason why I say that is if somebody came up to you right now and said, Hey, I got this, I got this great community. Give me a hundred bucks so you could be in my community. What do you think they'd say? What do you think they would say? Or I would say? Both. I'd be mean, like, I mean, what, what's the what's all about? What's going on? Like, there's doubt. Like, what am I? Yeah. There's doubt. Yeah, yeah, there's doubt. Like, why? <laughs> okay. So, I mean, we can't, we can't ask to be married on our first date. I see you're saying, long to commit with like, hold on. I need to get to know you first and then go from there. Exactly. So okay. what, what I suggest is everything you said, but backwards. Get people in the community, start being comfortable with each other, learn from each other, show your face every once in a while, still do the couple of things where you're going to have guests and talk to each other. Build the community because once they start talking to each other, but they're going to invite their friends or you're going to have more people, you're going to have more people built up. Then 
after you have a few people and you re- start feeling comfortable with, you know, you understand that people are talking to each other, then say, hey, by the way, I have this thing. If you want to join this thing, it's this amount. You've already gained trust from these people. They know that you're, you're a leader in the, in the group because you've been doing all these things. You've been, you know, facilitating all of this. Gain that trust right. first and then say, hey, I got this thing. It's only a hundred bucks. If you want to join it, you can. If you don't, that's cool. I want still want to be here. Your right. income is going to be a byproduct of how well you serve those people. Right. But we got to serve first before we can ask for that money. Right. So that's what I would do. I would even go as far as maybe if you get a few people in that group, see who's really super active in the group, choose two or three people and say, hey, I need somebody to help me with this. Can you help me with this? It won't cost you anything, but I want to see if this is going to work. Of course, they're going to say, right. yes, you've already been leading them. Do a, a group coaching with them and see how it goes over. Right? Right. If it goes over yeah. very good and there's good reception, there's a good chance that everybody else in that group is also going to accept it as well as they do. And these people will yeah. also be able to give you feedback about how the group coaching went. This is going to be your beta group. This is going to be the people that you get the feedback from to make it better for the people that are actually going to pay the money. Right. Okay. So I already have a Facebook group that like, it's not active. I don't know if people in. So I start rebuilding that one and say, Hey, you want me to take members going to this one from there. Okay. So what's the, what's the Facebook you got group now? What is that consistent? Um, what is it, that like? It was, it, it's, it was, I started in a couple, couple years ago. It's about, um, it's called, um, Credit secrets to hold to home ownership. Okay. So, um, that I started, I had people like I, every now that I have someone that gets in, but I don't post anything in there. It's not active. So it's like, uh, for me, I would like to know, like, that's a good place to how to revive it and start adding like, new people into there. And then from there, um, I guess, you know, then build the community from there into the paid coaching so okay so let's let's build this a little bit backwards it seems to be the theme right so while i didn't and i do that's okay no it's okay so if you want this product this group this facebook group or whatever group it is that you build to be based on what is it credit repair it was but Um, what is it now what well, still is, I just haven't, I haven't touched it. It's, a, it's an app. It's got people that no one's doing anything. So it's reviving it. I get changed into what we're talking about here, really make it the life coaching, financial life coaching or credit coaching. Whichever, which you think, which you, which you guys should go well, financial life coaching or credit coaching? Financial credit coaching. No, financial, no. Okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> Remember earlier I was telling you about the post-it notes? Yes. That's going to be the perfect tool for you to find a name for the group. Okay. Do that same gotcha. thing. What is, and keep in mind what, you know, what you want to accomplish in the group and then post what it is you want to accomplish in this group. And then somewhere in all those words is going to be the title. This is how I find all my titles of everything that I do because it's a brain dump. All my editing brain is turned off. My creative brain just turned on. So everything that I got going on in there is going to be dumped right out. Got it. So we, we want to envision what the end product is so we know what kind of people we want to, well, puppy, what, what kind of people we want to attract into the group, right? The way you have the group yes. set up right now, it's going to attract only people that are looking for credit repair, but that's not what we're looking for. Correct. Okay. Right. Right. We're looking for people that need help with their lives along with credit coaching. So how do we, once again, merge these two things together to cross instead of be like this, like we were talking about earlier, right. one step, 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 step. We want to cross, cross, he cross, wants cross. Go ahead. Be like that. Oh, that's okay. Thanks for the visit, puppy. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
talk to me and I'm like, I'm in the middle. Okay, fine. And I'm like, you're fully trained and you're great. I can't be mad at you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So when you're here, yeah, so it's crisscrossing or what yeah. we said earlier. Sure. Sure. Criss we could crossing. call it that. Crisscrossing. I like it. I'll make you jump there. Okay. All right. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. I'm old. I was born in 85. I remember crisscross. I'm not, I'm not that young to be like, let's crisscross. You are in the 90s, kids. Shut up. <laughs> all right anyway okay so um that is another thing i would do with the post-it notes is to come up with a name of your of your facebook group that's going to attract the people that you want in your facebook group and it's not going to be just right. credit repair so for me if you want my opinion and this is just my opinion i would start a whole new facebook group and then if there's that's anybody great. in the facebook group Anybody in the Facebook group now that seems active that you feel would fit in that group, send them over. Gotcha. Only active people. Don't send everybody over. Yeah. Right? Only people that you know are active. Even if that's nobody. If that's nobody, nobody comes over. You're starting from scratch and that's fine. And if, yeah. you're, if your group right now is inactive and it's been inactive for a while, then... Mm -hmm. Oh, well. It's... It, there's nothing wrong with starting over again because you've learned something from running that group and that's how to start a Facebook group, right? And yeah. how to get people from somewhere to that Facebook group, right? So now we yes. take those learnings and take that into the next step for not now maintaining the Facebook group and doing everything that you talked about. Yeah, okay. Got it. Cool. Okay. So how are, um, you said a couple of times that you actually have some clients right now, as far as that goes, explain that to me a little bit. Yeah. So, um, I have my non, well, I have, well, on the other side of one guy, uh, I'll say two regular life coaching clients that have nothing to do with credit, but rest. Um, I actually are, um, two more friends of mine that now like as clients are in my credit coaching program. I think they want to stick with this. Um, and then I have a couple other current clients because with the credit repair, we have, um, we offer locked in credit repair. They're still a client of ours. So they're a repeating customer that are in this life coaching, the, the credit coach program I have. So yeah, so I can. Talk in the band, hey, I'm doing this group. No, they'll, they'll join it and go from there. So it's a little, little bit of that. And up until this point, I've had the issue of crisscrossing the two to be like, to go to, to, go to my current clients, first, first, hey, I'm doing this thing. Do you want in to sound good to you? Who else would you know that that would be a part of it? Because I've done it with some people. And I've been filing and I'm like, perfect. Join me. Let's go for it. Let's do this boost journey and, you know, fly together. So. Okay. So these clients that you have now was, was it sort of random running into him or how do we get, how do we find this? But besides the friends, his friends are obvious, but the, obvious. the other one, the other ones, one of them had uh, emailed me at the blue and I forgot they were there because work, we worked bar for a while. They had a question. I see, yeah, we're still working on a file. And then I said, you know, Hey, here's a credit card program. I have. Give me some feedback. If you like joining, here's what it is. You have friends, cool. And she was, and she went, Oh, I want to join this. I was like, I'd expect it. Um, the other person, Charlie, the other person, um, the other person I've been speaking to for a while, um, working on his credit currently, I told him about it. So really, it really has literally just been, Hey, here's what I'm doing right now. Initially in the beginning, it's been together. Like, would you buy this? So I was trying to make it, trying to make it, um, like, yep, you know, clear, like, would you buy something? Like, yeah, I'd do it. And so now it's been when I made time for it, but like, if I'm doing this, Here's what I have. Now. Would you like to do it? If not, who do you think would benefit from it? So that's what I've been just showing with current clients. Okay. So you're taking the, your, your current clients that you have now and basically just asking referrals. Yes. Okay. That's a good practice. Referrals yeah. are, are they're going to give you warm leads. Yeah. Because you already have a, whatever credibility you have with them, they're going to have with their friends and, and whatnot. So that's good. Yeah. So the next question is that is how do we attract new clients? Yeah, that is a good question. <laughs> um, don't have much of that. I don't have any 
much of a marketing budget that's just spending. So I need to get enough people in where I can start having that and then I can move the market. Because I have friends that will let the left to help me market, but I don't know, they don't want to look free and I get that. So then don't okay. give me as well to help get more people. So all right. So let let me give you a little example then because I'm right there with you. Um I make zero money podcasting. Nothing. Okay. Right. Um, I work two full-time jobs on top of my podcasting, on top of entrepreneur coaching to keep my head below water. Okay. So I understand what it is to work with a very low budget. Yeah. Okay. So we need to find ways to be able to advertise ourselves and market ourselves with no money and it can be done. Okay. Okay. So what do you think you can do for free to market yourself? Um, one thing I have been doing, um, I had some people, um, take a part in, and I now I've got a testimony from somebody that will show up more is been offering free Rico sessions. And in the beginning, it's funny. And I was doing it to practice just to get used to it with my friends. They were like, okay, great. Can, can we keep going? I was like, oh, you actually want to keep going? But it was funny. I was like, wow. Okay. I didn't, I just practice so i've been offering that i like to get more people involved in that and i have this video a link to video that demonstrates it so you'll see it um now now that i have an actual view testimonial i think i'll get more credibility as well for people for people to take the offer on it so that's one um another personal friend finding which i need to look more into um i'll be doing facebook reel thought consistently um networking events attending those which now i can speak to more clearly about this i can say hey here's what i'm doing looking for you know here's the and then offering also um, a three credit strategy session as well okay anything else that's it okay all right so what are you doing with these testimonials I just got one and then there's three of them that are, I can, that they're, they're written types. So I can screenshot. So, um, okay, but I don't, what's the best way to use them? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what I wanted to, I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to go over something you already did. Cause that needs redundant. Right. Yeah. Okay. So do you have a website? Yes. Okay. Put those testimonials on your website. Have you done that? No. Okay. If we haven't done, we should. <laughs> we have a yes. whole line. People need, people are going to look you up. If they're going to spend money with you, they're going to want to know what you're about. So the first thing they're going to do is what? They're going to Google you. Okay. So when they Google you, something needs to pop up that's going to give you credibility for what you do. Right. Go ahead. Let the puppy in. That's all right. God, Charlotte. Yeah. I just leave the door. Oh, yeah. All right. So, yeah. so we need to we need to use these testimonials to your advantage. Okay. And the only way to do that is to put them somewhere so people can refer to them. Right. Okay. Now there's another type of testimonial you can do if your clients and your friends are willing to do it. And that's a per that's a personal testimonial. And what that okay. is, is basically when somebody says, hey, you know, I want to work with you, but I want to do my research first. Say, hey, contact so-and-so. Here's their email reference. Uh, okay. okay. Here's their email address. Talk to them and let them show you or tell you what I've been capable of doing for them. Right. So it's not just a written thing that's on a website or anywhere else. It's a a voice or something coming from directly from a person, right? Is a lot more credible. Yeah. So I've actually started yeah. doing that myself recently and it's been working really well. Okay. Okay. So um, work on your testimonials. I think that's going to be a key for you is getting your testimonials somewhere where people could see them. I think that's going to be big for you. And gather more that gather more testimonies as many as you can. So it doesn't matter who it's you know. It's make sure it's from somebody that has worked with you, so it's it's the truth. Right. But even if it's from your friend, or even if it's if you do a fifteen minute 
consultation from your, your credit, whatever it was, your credit sessions. Hey, yeah. can you write a testimonial for me since you, I did this for you for free? Right. Cool. Okay. Now I want to talk to you a little about your reels. Okay. Since you're sort of doing it, sort of. When you say not consistently, I mean, what, what does that mean? I mean, tell me what consistency. Very minimum, like not once a week. It's like here or there, that or where, not even once a week. Monday was a, Monday was a Friday, you know, something that every time people know, all right, there's a new reel coming up from Matt on this time. Okay. Why are they not consistent? Um, going back to the lack of knowing and speaking to you and then knowing that then the content can flow. Okay. So it's a matter of, you don't know who your audience is. Yes. Okay. It was till this point. So now, but now we know who our audience is, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Correct. So now, since you know who your audience is, do you think you're going to be a little more, you can be a little more consistent with reels? Definitely. But that, okay. I could do at least like, oh, uh, twice a week, once a day. I don't know. Just see what, see what, what feels, what the flow is okay. and go from there. Don't overwhelm yourself with them. They're not going to be detrimental. They're going to be a more of a reference point than it is something that you're going to actually say, go here. This is where I'm at. You gotcha. Know what I'm yeah. It's, it's going to yep. be something where people are going to see him, you know, start seeing him a little bit more. People are going to get interested, start liking your things or whatever. So it's going to kind of run and that's where you're going to get some organic traffic if it works right. But it's not going to be something where you have to like, you know, get the best lighting and do and, you know, have it a certain, you know, don't, don't overwhelm yourself with that. Okay. It's going to be a good way to get people, but it's not something I want you to hundred percent concentrate your energy on. Got it. Okay. Yeah. The other way to do it is to do what I do and that's repurpose content. Okay. Okay. So like, if you look at any of my podcasting stuff, I record everything because everything to me is content. So what I do is I repurpose that content into reels. I take little snippets, I pull them out and I throw them on a reel with some words and a little gif or something or whatever. Super simple. I could get a bunch of them all at once and it gets the job done and I don't have to over worry about it. Some, some of these you could even schedule out to release at specific times. Um, I know Twitter does that. I know Facebook does that to a point. Um, there's also some softwares you can get it, get, which will actually let you build up a library and then they'll push them out at certain times of the day or certain times of the week that you choose. Okay. So that way you can take it, take like two or three hours out of a week, do a bunch of content, do a bunch of reels, throw them into this AI program. I think it's an AI program of some kind. And then it'll push it out for you consistently, whatever you want it to go. Okay. So um, the one, the one that I I know of is uh, Pinnacle AI. But yeah, uh, I'll send you a link to that. Um, I'm I'm I work with them. He's a good friend of mine, and it's okay. a it's actually a CRM that has it's a CRM. It's a total CRM that has AI worked into it, which also includes a um a social media calendar yeah, nice so i'll i'll link i'll send that over to you too later on so you can see it so um if we were to do that how how would we get content um well one i I subscribe people on YouTube that I follow, so that's one source. Um, there's a one self in, in in my magnetic mind and um, that office that does a lot of stuff. So that's two. Um, um, three um, experiences I have with with clients, stuff they go through, things to avoid. Um, that's one, and then I guess I guess I could do one where it's like I don't thought about doing like you know, like a reality TV one. It's like day one, I'm doing this, day two, years, two, day two, day three, of whatever, whatever thing I'm working on. Like, oh my God, he did it again. And the ups and downs, challenges and all that stuff. So, yeah. Okay. 
we need we need to build you a content calendar, okay? So when when you start doing these things, you want things to happen in a series. Now, you 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 actually were almost there when you were saying it. This is my project. This is the next thing in my project. This is the next. People love a story. Yeah. Right. So fo- have people follow you in your story. If you're going to build something, have them follow you while you're building it. If you're going to build a course, hey, I'm building a course. This is what I'm doing in my course. Do you have any questions about my course? There's things that you can do to, for people to follow you. And then when you actually come out with that course, people are waiting for it. So I always, Bro. before I do anything, I build in public. And I use whatever I'm doing as content for the public so they could see what I'm doing. So when I'm done with whatever it is I'm doing, people know it's there already. Instead of just like building it and then, okay, here it is. Right. The, the, the um, anticipation. Exactly. So that's a good way to do content too. Now, uh, I'm a little biased on this one. Uh, start a podcast. You're not the first person that's told me that, so that's a sign. Yeah. Why? <laughs> why haven't you? Let, let's let's ask a different question. Why haven't you started a podcast yet? Um, don't know where to start. The recording of it, platform, put it on. Yeah. Okay. So, if you knew that information, would you start a podcast? I would. You would? Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. Do that. Be, oh, all right. Cool. Here's like do it. Here's topic. Before five, ten, fifteen. I don't know. Have guests go on. I just look for guests and just do it that way. So, okay. If you want, I do have a product. I do. I do help people start podcasts. Okay. Okay. Uh, from beginning, from beginning to end, how to start it, how to get it all out there how to create content, how to edit it, all that I can help you. I can help you learn that if you want to take advantage of that. I'm not going to go too deep into that, but I, it is That's there true. if you want. Okay? okay. So when you do something like that, whether you even start a podcast or even just start a, um, a YouTube channel or anything like that, that's all stuff that you can use as content for your socials. You know what? I should start a podcast and use it as my content. They'd be like, here's day one, guys. So I was dropping today at 3 p.m. Eastern. Boom. Oh, my God. So, so yeah. They're already thinking yeah. about it. <laughs> so, um, that's a good way to do it. And then also, what you can do once you start building up steam in that podcast is start venting out for clients. Hey, I'm starting this thing i want to invite four people into this if you want to be involved go to this place right right and it'll be it'll be out in the airwaves it'll be out there for people to hear and listen to and take advantage of same thing with a youtube channel you could do the same thing with a youtube channel heck all i do is i take my podcast i videotape it and then i throw it up on youtube I just repurpose content. It's the same content. Yeah. Okay. It's not. I'm not agree with. I'm not agree with editing. So what I have to like do myself are going to like just have some fiber, like do the intro, outro. How nice today? Because I'll get lost with that. <laughs> I can I can help you. Don't worry. It's all right. <laughs> but having some kind of consistent consistent uh, content going out there is going to give you credibility. It's going to give you, uh, it's going to give you leadership because people are going to see you more and more often. They're going to see you as a leader, right? In your field of what you do. And that's what you want. Okay, cool. So the other thing you could think about too is, um, an email list. Have you thought about doing that? Or have you, do you know what that is? Do you know what all that yeah, is? I have one and then I need to, um, have a better lead magnet to get people on that list. So what are you so using? For, what are you using for a lead magnet now? Oh, it changes. It's been a, um, what well, haven't mentioned it lately anyway, but it was, and I still use it to a free, um, the free credit strategy session and opt in and schedule it from there. So. So you are physically actually talking to people as your lead magnet. 
Yes, but no one's really taking me up on it so far. Okay. The reason people the reason people are not taking you up on it because it takes time. It takes time away from them and it takes time away from you. Right. Okay. It's too I, personally, I think it's too early for you to be taking time up like that. You have a lot more that you could do with that extra time. So what you need to do instead, personally, I think, is to come up with something very simple but effective that somebody can use right away. Like right now. You want that quick win. Because as soon as they get that quick win from you, they're going to realize that you are the guy because you helped them in less than 10 minutes. Gotcha. So the lead magnet that helps them, it gives them a, a, a quick win. Correct. Okay. All right. I'm going to think on that one. So personally, my lead magnet that I'm using right now is a AI prompts. Okay. So basically it's prompts where people just plug in this sentence and they put in what business they want to start. And there's like three or four lines. And when they're, by the time they're done, they have a bunch of articles about the business they want to start basics on how to start their business to get the juices flowing a quick win of exactly what they want. Right. So that's, that's what I'm using right now. Gotcha. Okay. So building up that email list is going to be probably more important, to be honest with you, than your Facebook group. Okay. All right. So we need to concentrate on the, uh, the email list and we need to concentrate on the Facebook group. That's going to be your community to work off of. These are the people that are going to follow you. These are going to be the people that will buy from you because they see you as a leader. They see you as a leader in your, in your industry. Gotcha. Okay. Anything, any other, any questions up to this point? I want to make sure, you know, anything going through your head right now that I can hit? No, that's it. Okay. I just want to ask one time before I, I moved on because there are the things I want to, okay. I want to hit real quick, but okay. So. Well, what else do I got here? Um, there was a couple of times that we've talked, we've talked, we said, I need to follow up with him, with he, she, them. A couple of times where you said, I have to follow up with them. You know, someone, I, I said, I really should talk to them. I haven't talked to them in a really long time. Or I don't know if you, I don't even know if you're aware you even said it or not, but there was a couple of times where you said, I really should reach out to this person. I'm trying to make it a move because I don't remember. That's okay. <laughs> Probably well, when you look back at this, like, oh yeah. Yeah. That's okay. So we need to find a way to be able to not forget about these people that we need to follow up. Fortune is in the follow up, right? If they don't take right. advantage of whatever it is that you're giving them right away, you want to follow up with them in a certain amount of time and say, hey, you know, remember this? Are you still interested in this? Sometimes people forget, right? We want to be able to remind them that. So having some kind of way to get a hold of these people so we don't forget. And that's actually going to go back into having a customer relations manager or CRM, like I talked about earlier, a way to be able to remember, remember or remind yourself that you're going to have these people to talk to after a certain amount of time. And then if it goes too long and they don't respond to you, then you know it's okay to throw them, you know, throw them aside and not waste time on them because they're not giving you the time of day. Right. So instead of having in the back of your mind, oh, why haven't I have talked to this person? Oh, well, it's because it's been three months. I don't want to talk to this person. Yeah. Right. So I'm having a, having a, a decent, I'm not going to say efficient right now because nothing's efficient right now. We're just getting started, but having it a, you know, a good way to be able to follow up with people, whether it be on email, whether it be DMs or anything like that is a good way to maintain a uh, good follow-up. So I just want to make sure that you're doing that because that's important too. Um, actually, after that, I think that's all the notes I have here for you. Um, 
I want to give you just one more chance to, if you have any questions, look at your notes, see if there's, if you understand everything that we've talked about, is there anything you want me to just kind of go over one more time, anything like that? I'm good. I got it. You got it? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I would, here's what I'd like to do for you, Matt, because I really like you. You're awesome. You have a lot of great things going for you and I want to see you succeed. So here's what I'd like to do with you. And I want you to get back on my calendar, Lee, and in a month's time, I want to follow up with you again, another free coaching for the same amount of time. Okay. And I want to hear about what you've done, what kind of successes you've had, what kind of failures you've had, what you've actually completed, what you have completed. I want to hold you accountable for the stuff that we've talked about today. Okay. Okay. So uh, I, when, once we get off here, we get back, I'll send you my calendar, Lee, again. I want you to set a time up in a month's time from now so we can get back on here again and see how you're doing. Okay. Are you okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. No, it works. Okay. It means I got to do something and go, yeah, about that. I kind of yeah. forgot. <laughs> you Oops, sorry. Life happens. <laughs> but that's why you need somebody to hold you accountable so you can get it done, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So I'm going to ask you, what are the three things that you pull the most value to what we talked right now? What are the three things that really stuck out for you? Oh, uh, clearly my target market or avatar ideal, whatever audience that's helped out. That streamlines everything from there. Um, to, um, building, um, Building the, uh, the, you know, the building my, my community and, um, there's another one, like helping with content to actually, that's more meds. It's helping the content and fine tune a lead magnet to use at the end of my content to actually get people to want to opt in and, you know, get, 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 give them a quick win. Cause that's, that's been the simplest, most like, duh explanation or goal of a lead magnet i've gotten my entire time been in this space because no one said oh i have a lead magnet it's like no one says the goal should be goal should be give, give, to give me a quick win i'm like that makes sense first value it's like okay but they need to get some sort of change and then they can go well wow more wow, this works so, yeah all right and what's one thing you're going to do as far, as soon as we get off the phone here, besides go to bed, because I know it's late. What's I mean, you know, <laughs> um, I'm going to set up with 30 days time to meet with you tonight or today. Absolutely. See you Saturday. So, okay. Well, that, that works too, I guess. I was hoping more lens of what are you going to do for yourself? Not for us. Oh, so. oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go eat some food. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, let this marinate in my mind for the night. And then on um, once you want to watch the replay on this. And uh, okay. Cause I'll, I'll pick up stuff that I want, that you know, all that. And you, Cause some things I want to, I want to watch and go from there. And I go, okay, this is what I can do. So cool. There we go. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop. This. Thank you for listening to the coaching edition of the Undiscovered Entrepreneur, brought to you by Doing It Today Coaching. If you want to get across the start line, contact me, DJ Scoob, at doingittodaycoaching at gmail.com. Say the words, do it now, for a free two-hour discovery call to see how I can help you in your entrepreneur adventure. Art and graphics by Elaine Wilson, supported by my Patreon, Brian Briggs of Ocean Tree Creative, and Oliver Siegel of Anal. And hosted by me, DJ Scoob. <laughs> Click the show notes below for more information. And remember, I can, I am, I will, and I'm doing it today. As a worker of two full-time jobs and a podcast and a coach, every minute counts in my day-to-day. -day. It's hard to be consistent in any of my social medias, and at this point, I just can't hire a social media manager. It's just too gosh darn expensive. Pinnacle AI to the rescue. I've been using Pinnacle AI for a couple of weeks now and seeing big improvements in my reach and consistency. Do you want to have time and increase your productivity too? Go to tuepodcast.net backslash AI for more information. Save yourself time and grow your brand. 
Try it now and see what it can do for you.